No Just jumper. Kidding. Coolest podcast in the world in today. The motherfucking world. We're so blessed. We got motherfucking Gary from Skateline. Hey, what the fuck I got my on, nigga bro? from Skateline MVD and it's man. man. How, How you doing? feeling, bro? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling amazing. Yeah. yeah. This is crazy because it's like you're the number one dude in the fucking universe that is like everybody runs up on you. I've seen it this weekend at that fest. <laughs> yeah. Everybody knows who you are, but it's like a lot of people don't necessarily know your name. They don't really know exactly what they're dealing with, but they love you. Yeah. I felt like I felt like one of those niggas on Sunday. Yeah. yeah. I was fucked up when I saw it. It's all good. One. You're that it's guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're that guy. Yeah. <laughs> so we got to go back though before we even talk about the show and shit. We got to know where you're coming from. Like, where'd you grow up? I grew up in East Oakland. Okay. Man, then I went to Sacramento, my dad's house, and then I came back, moved to San Leandro, and that's where I met everybody that's on the stairs except for Ish, because he's from Florida. Right. But other than that, yeah, I grew up High Street, East Oakland, Hunters Point, San Francisco. Okay. For me, so Bay Area is where I'm really from. How well, the youngsters get high feet. Feel me? So for those who don't know, Gary rolled through with a gigantic mob of people. Oh God! Like, all my oh, Thrasher boys. Multicultural in mob of like eighteen. All of them. Hey, right come, come jump in the hey, camera. No, the don't camera. Don't, don't, don't cause a stampede. Up, house phone. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, the whole the hey, just know the whole stairs is filled. We'll just probably know, throw a screenshot in there. Just or something. Fifty shit. niggas in this motherfucker. He's right mobbed now. up. It's yeah. official. We brought the burners on purpose. Oh, see, I didn't know about that. Okay, <laughs> we all got on accident. Man. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so so how did uh, what kind of kid were you? What were you like? As a, as I a was terrible. Boy? I was just bad. <laughs> I like I just did whatever I wanted. I talked to whoever I wanted, however I wanted. I just didn't listen. Uh -huh. I didn't care. I was gonna do what I wanted to when I wanted to. Right. And that's how I was. But uh, I knew that. My brain was right, and I wasn't like a dumb nigga or nothing, but a little slow or whatever, I guess. But a little slow. Then I picked up as I grew up. And so I started to find things out. But was it that your parents weren't really guiding you, or did your nah, parents, parents try? My parents be like, you feel me? <laughs> they tried really yeah, hard. They, they didn't play that shit. Like I got my ass with you. That's what that's what uh, grew me into becoming smarter and making better decisions for myself yeah. and growing up. So they beat some sunsets. But even too. still now I still do what I want. <laughs> now now it actually turned into success by doing what I want. So right. you know, their guidance was, you know, still took place. So what was skateboarding like for you early on? How'd you get involved? Oh with man, that? dude. So before like, skating, what was you on? Oh, okay, but like what was I on before skating? Yeah, like basketball. Yeah, I was just like hooping. hooping. I was just hooping like you I was on this third grade squad and then oh, I never made grades right. after that. Okay. Feel me? Feel Never me. made grades after up, that. Feel me? Never D1. got tall after that. Couldn't, dribble, couldn't dribble my head up quite completely. Ooh. Feel me? But Ooh. I was still nice What's or whatever. Layup game? Layup game was all right. Ooh, B plus, C plus. Well, I say B plus. Ooh. I'm not going to say I had the juice Because then if I had A plus I would have been on the team They would have said fuck I'm grades Put me, me on Fuck grades So you were really trying to hoop though? I, yeah when I was little little. Yeah you uh, said third grade Third, third, grade, fourth, third grade, grade, grade Fourth grade Hooping. Everybody was aspir aspirational With that shit in third grade But then you, you get to like Junior high And you realize that Everybody was good in elementary school Sucked by junior high Yeah Almost oh, so. like I was touching backboard In like, like sixth <laughs> or seventh grade <laughs> You were touching me. backboard okay. I could dunk in I like ninth grade that, But I was over it Okay I could still dunk though to this day, yeah, yeah, I, so know, I was man. really a hooper. When, when did you like first find skateboarding? And when did you first get into it? As, like, man, a young kid? when I was like probably seven, eight, I don't know. It's like, of course, obviously, yeah, Rocket Power came out, Tony Hawk Pro Skateboarder came out, and then um, my cousin had it on his uh, Nintendo 64, yeah, and I just ignored it. I was like, Rocket Power is the one, I don't need to play a video game or whatever. And my mom took me up to Kmart that was on High Street. And I was like, I'm gonna get a skateboard. I want to use one. Had one. I said it was like it was like the No Fear font on the bottom. Yeah. yeah it was like one of those boards. Mm -hmm. Didn't really move. Shout or out whatever. No Fear. One of the illest brands of all time. Yeah. It was like one of those. Yeah. I don't know what the board exactly had on it, but I remember it was like green with the purple lettering. And I had one of them. Took it home from Kmart. A back three bearings. Yeah. A back trash bearings. A back nigga. trash. They did not move, a back no. <laughs> And then after that, I got like this bigger, like this other board that looked a little more realistic with like some jelly wheels on it or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it moved a little faster, but then I realized that it, I wasn't going to learn how terrible my product was. And then around ninth grade, like second semester of ninth grade, I got a board from this dude named Jake Steinprice. He threw me a board. Uh, I want to say it was a... Uh, um, Anti hero or real or something with some venture trucks. He was on high school. He was on. I had to drop in. Pop that collar. <laughs> it was over. Do you feel like you've like found your place in the world all of a sudden? Like you found like yeah. a thing to really put your effort into? Yeah, it's yeah. tight because it's like you feel, I don't know, like, like without grades, without grades and shit. And then you can just learn how to skate. Right. You could be you on can your go, own. You could go do some other shit some that's other not shit. graded or. In a parking yeah. lot and learn something to make you feel good for yeah, a couple so days. Skateboarding was after the guy. Right. Yeah. So, um, 
so did you progress in skateboarding prior to you starting the skate line thing? Like, what did you have a trajectory, oh, man. man? That's what's weird. Like, people be like, man, you're learning so much right now. Like, Wow, your progression is crazy. It's like, nah, like you when we all was all you younger, younger, right? Yeah, when we were younger before skateline, that's when like we were really skateboarding, like learning. And then skateline happened, you know, and obviously it's like more traveling and more being on that and trying to be businessman and music and working on stuff for my company Black Gold. So, you know, I've I've had little less time to skate, but I mean I still skate and then my body deteriorating, <laughs> all the injuries and everything. Right. And getting but, older and shit. Yeah, man. so I, I I have my progression really going a little bit before skate line, and then like now that I'm older, I guess, and I'm used to it, I can just learn new things every day. So I'm choosing to like try to do something I can't really do every day. But do you feel like you were all of a sudden just under the microscope like crazy as soon as you started skate line? Because of, of course, if you're yeah. making a joke about somebody fucking up on a rail, and people are gonna be like, "Can you do that? Like, yeah. you can't do that, motherfucker." I <laughs> I never. That's what I think helped me because like. I feel like people found out quick that I didn't give a fuck uh -huh. and I'm ready for anything. <laughs> anything. <laughs> any bullshit. At any time. At any time. No ready for anything in terms of what? No like an argument or like anything. beef just or what? Bullshit. Just no, anything. 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 Like any I'm bullshit. Any, he's ready. So I think it, I think people like were it. just like, oh, shit. So me, them saying, <laughs> oh, but can you skate like that? Does that matter to me? I'm sorry, it doesn't. Yeah. So it, that yeah. helped a lot, and sure. and then also meeting pros and people, they got to realize that I'm not like some disrespectful guy. Like, I be kicking it. I mean, I I, right. I ask niggas how I see like how they're doing all the time. The niggas I be roasting, and kids be like, "Ooh, you guys are cool." Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Right. It's not it's that my big nigga. of a deal. Yeah. He makes yeah. millions of dollars. He doesn't care about what I say. Because the shit that you do online <laughs> is basically like the equivalent of what motherfuckers do when they're not on camera. Yeah. You just yeah. bring it to the camera. And I'm just not scared to say, say it to it the right. world. Right. So that's just like skate shop talk. Like right. the the pillow talk of skateboarding is like <laughs> I, I'm I'm not yeah. in the pillow. I'm on the mic. I'm on the camera. And like, yeah, I'll talk. That's what's funny. And we were talking about this earlier when the homie was like, "Are you sure you want to do this?" Like. Like people are gonna come after you, or people are gonna get mad at skateboarders. And, and I remember Stevie Williams was texting me one day. He was like, "Yo, actually, no, he told me this in real life in front of Ko. Like, yo, like somebody gonna run up and try to say something. I was like, I'm gonna be ready, bro. Like, yeah. don't even worry about me. I'm, like, I'm but good. that's never happened. Some Nobody. people have ran up on me, but ran up on you like really trying like, to fight. Ran you know? up really trying to I'm say some stupid yeah. shit, and I'm always ready. Uh huh. And I'm t I, I got tired of saying their name because I already like made sure I said their name, so just in case it wanted to come up again. But hands were shook. Niggas told me they was cool, so it's behind me. Yeah, but niggas have ran up right. while I was low key too deep, and they had six or seven motherfuckers, and I'm like, yo, like I was joking, but what do you want to do? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I was just playing, but what's <laughs> what's, what's up? Good. Right. So. That's how that went. He's well, about that confirmed. Up. He's with the shit. Yeah, exactly. You know, Unlike sorry. Hesh, my whole family, oh. everybody in my family. Right. So you learn. You learn at a young age how to handle yourself in street age. situations. Yeah. Right. See, these. Are, you feel me? That's my family. Like we turn. Know, so. And my real family is even worse. <laughs> Whatever was, was exactly, left. Exactly, because they don't know, left. like, skaters is really, like, on some other shit. Like, being yeah. at the park, you know, we got to deal with bums. We got to deal with, like, random ass niggas. Right. Yeah, yeah, niggas being shit. at the park and shit like that, especially with Aerie. Yo, look at there. your girls over there cuddling with the cat. This is so funny. Yeah, Tony's a player. <laughs> you feel me? Tony's a pimp. That's Tony over there smoking Big Kush. Um, <laughs> smoking Harambe fingers. You, you feel me? Harambe fingers. We put the whole, you know, the Oakland team. Everybody right, be Harambe. Harambe. Yeah, we're Harambe never going to forget you. You know, rest in peace, my nigga. You feel me? Hold on, wait real quick. Oh, the glasses, yeah. It's Alpha Harambe. You're not Do you have a question before I ask my question? Um, Seems like you're motivated yeah. to ask a question here. Um, how did you go about starting Skate Line? How did tell us how you... I want the real behind-the-scenes, yeah. like, step-by-step -step thought process before you guys got going. This not even not even me, that. Yeah. Just, like, how did you just thought about it? Like, what, you were just like, I'm just going... Get the homie was like, let's do something funny. And like, the homie that owned the skate shop, yeah. he had a camera that he won from a YouTube contest. His subscriber game just went up. He was like, you know what? I think we could do something funny. Funny as hell. And he had formulated this idea. And I was like, I know how I'm going to say it. I'm going to be, like, brute with it. Like, he wanted to be kind of comically funny <laughs> with it. And I was yeah. like, yeah. I'm going to say what we're thinking, not what would be funny. Yeah. And he was like, let's get it. That's, that's, that's exactly that's how it happened. Event. So it's the Metro Skate Shop, Concord, California, Pleasant Hill, California. Uh -huh. yeah. That's where we went. And I had did like a few little skits for them for YouTube that helped them win this contest. So he was like, we on. Let's do something. Mm -hmm. And he was like, we going to do some. I wanted to stand up and do it like the soup. Yeah. Dance around. And be that would have been, 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 been hard too, but 
being coming with the suit on a professional level, mm -hmm. talking shit about skaters. It makes it funnier than you're in a suit. Cool. Yeah. It made it insane. Comedy. Like, when yeah, it pulled up it and was... it was it was me, short hair, and purple skin, because we did not have to out the green screen. <laughs> yeah. It was funny. Like, it, it was just made it, it made no, it hella funny. And then, like, then all the comments were like, wow, this nigga's purple. Like, <laughs> And then we went on the next episode and was like, it's the purple nigga from last week. <laughs> and then niggas was like, oh, shit, this nigga doesn't give, give a, a fuck. fuck. And we were like, we on. Yeah. So... That's tight, man. Like, how, how how long have you guys been running with it for? Four years now. Four years, bro. Every week for four years. Four, you were like 14 when you first started this? No, I'm 24. Nigga, you look eight, 19 in the month. Yeah, okay. I'm 24. Damn, bro. So, yeah, I started yeah. since I was 20. I was, Black don't crack, man. I was hungry. You That's feel what me? I keep hearing. I was starving. You're going to crack. I do a lot of drugs and shit. That's, <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> See, if you smoke weed, Diddy's you just drink your like water. You, you never got me. into drugs and drinking uh, or what? Uh, nah, I used yeah. to smoke and drink all the time, man. Okay. I used to be fucked up. What happened? Like, I was like one beer turnt ass nigga because I weighed like uh, 90 fucking pounds. Yeah. Oh, word? I was little as shit. So, yeah, this, this eat body. Like, I've been I eating. feel you. Yeah, yeah, I look yeah, like a person. I used to look malnourished. <laughs> yeah. Like, I could sit in between the fucking back seat and the seat <laughs> while niggas sat in the car, little ass. What did you have to do to put some weight on? I eat food, get this money. Like, oh, that's what happened. Yeah, food, I got lucky money. that I'm fortunate that enough. Get money, good, you feel me? Yeah, I, had a, I just got fortunate enough to be able to eat every day. So. How, how long did it take for you guys to find, like, a home for the for the show? Like, a, like for you to oh, start getting paid? Oh, the first episode. Oh, so right from the, the beginning. Sec after the first episode. So when it aired the first day, we got calls from Tony Hawk's Ride Channel. Okay. Like, not wow. like we did it for a few trial runs. They saw it one like, time. They're like, this is it. Yeah. This, what the fuck? They so how'd like, that feel to you? I was like, bro, you playing. Like, right. Tony Hawk. Kidding. And I told my mom, I was like, I'm about to work for Tony Hawk. She was like, nigga, if you don't get <laughs> yeah. your ass a job. I was, like, I was like, nah, mom, I'm about to get paid right. for this little thing I'm doing. And she was like, what? All right. And then, then like, uh, after the fourth episode, it took, like, a month or something for them to write the shit up because they sent us these contracts. I was, yeah, both. They was both. You weren't, oh, but you guys were smart My enough to, was trying to, to get over. Yeah, get but we lawyer. had lawyers. Okay. We had, you know, the homie's okay. wife had a lawyer. She read it like, oh, these things got you fucked up. Mm. And we was like, all right, so rewrite it. They did it. Did it cool. Talking cool money is cool. And then that's how that popped off. And we just, after the first episode, I was like, yo, I told my partners, like, about to work for Tony Hawk. Right. Can't believe it. Damn, that's, that's how exactly how that went. Hey, you, do you ever get, like, demotivated from having to do it every week? You ever nah, get burnt out? You love funny. it. It's cause easy, funny. right? Yeah, it's super easy. It's like, who else going to do it? Who else going to say something? <laughs> yeah, and then, yeah. like, even the nigga that tries to do it after me, you're copying. So. Man. I was going to say, um, do you see a lot of imitation going on? We there? did. When it first happened, there was, happened, a, lot it was a lot of niggas trying imitating. to do it. When it first happened, exactly they lasted maybe a week or two. Yes. Some people... Some people went suit. Some people even did it for snowboarding. Like, everybody was, like, asking me, yeah. like, would you like to do it for them? And then they would try to do it on their own. And it only lasts probably an episode or two because it mm -hmm. goes, it's a lot into this. Yeah. Right. But you got to think as fast as possible. Like, mm -hmm. some people don't got that like that. Yeah. To right. just be on their toes. Like, it's every mean? week really, yeah. like, reoccurring. Yeah, skate. Like, it's stuff. real life. Like, it's the only media for skateboarding. And it's been the same two people working on it. It's yeah. not a camp. We don't have writers. We don't have anybody working on it. it We're in the bro's them. house. We set up a green screen. The same two people for four years. Instagram, Twitter. Wow. Like, if, if skaters come through, they chip in, but it's literally just us two. And you guys do over 100,000 views per episode now. 100,000 views, yes. So that's crazy. Yes. Did you notice that milestone when you guys started to creep up to that? Yeah, that was like our little goal, like yeah. 100,000 a week. That's, what that's crazy say. for what you do. That's it like, is. That it's ain't supposed to happen. Because yeah. skateboarders' minds don't, they're outside. Right. They're on their mm -hmm. cameras. They're on their... That's a rabid following. They're on Tinder. It don't matter what you talk about. You can talk about skateboarders anything. Skateboarders are yeah. on Tinder. Constantly, <laughs> when Shout I left Woodward, Tinder. when I left Woodward, when I got to Woodward, they were just like, I was like, nigga, what are y'all on? Are you gonna like, find desert hoes? Like, yes, they were looking for desert hoes. <laughs> Shout out to, yes, to exactly. Chapa, to Hapachi, where it's Hapachi, yeah, Hapachi, 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 I'm blacklisted. Hapachi, where at the Woodward for smoking that big weed? Yeah, you dumbass. You're not supposed to smoke. Oh, you got trouble smoking. Yeah, I can't go to Woodward West. Yeah, I can't go back there. What'd you do? I fucked up. Gang shit. It was turned. We you can't, you can't be filming yourself smoking turned. weed there. They'll find out about it. They get yeah. turned. They get turned. Yeah, <laughs> you got to go down to like the gas station or some shit. Really? I ain't you can't fuck. be on the thing, like on the property. Nah, they're super, super militant about smoking weed and drinking. Yeah, they didn't shit, care. Yeah. About Not even know. drinking. What if you're 21? No, they know. were. They they definitely had a um a staff night, and you definitely had to have a bar. It was okay. a bar. All right. Yeah. Well, there's like 14 year old gymnasts there, so they're kind of paranoid, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that. All right. Well, fuck them. Let's talk about. So, how did you get? Like, how did the? How did it? Come along on Thrasher. Oh, the Thrasher yeah, switch. What, the yeah. switch. Yeah, the what's up with that? All right, so obviously this was weird. They as came fuck. with the bigger check. This is this is what's weird. Hold on. So Hold on. in 
we are doing probably like almost 10 months on Ride Channel, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The year's about to come up because that's how long the contract was. Mm-hmm. When we did contracts, we don't do that shit no more. We don't play that shit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so don't hit me up with no contract unless okay. you're talking about big, big, big seven figures for okay. me and all my niggas. Yeah. But, um, Tell them. Um, <laughs> fuck you. Um, uh, Thrasher is around the corner from my grandmother's house mm-hmm. where I also TV. grew up. So it's funny. TV. Like, I just went over there, and we grew up at Thrasher Park. We were hashtagging Thrasher Boys. Mm-hmm. The homie Bubby Buster started hashtagging still rock with Thrasher Boys. Yeah. yeah, we still rock with Because yeah, that's our, our skate park is named Thrasher Park. Mm-hmm. Like, no association to the magazine at all. Right. That's just all where we grew up. First fights, first kiss, first girl, everything. First kiss, wow. Yeah, yeah. Well, not each other, like girls. Right, you know? no, yeah, I assume, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You ain't house phone. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, like, yeah. all that all that happened over there, you feel me? So it's like it, we just started doing Thrasher Boys. Right. You know, and this is before the brand... And I'm not de- de- belittling Thrasher as a brand, but they hadn't made the switch to super. They always was like, fuck everybody. You know, they just kept it, you well, know. And They, they weren't hardcore with it. They weren't hardcore with it being point, out yeah. there, you know, anything like that. And it was working for them. They were super successful. We didn't make them or nothing. We are just saying, like, we were just hashtagging Thrasher boys. And then Tony Vitello was like, yo, like, you always be repping Thrasher hard. Like, like your park, I know that park in San Leandro. Like, what are you doing with that show? Like, why isn't it in the Bay Area? Why are you down there? Not hating or anything. He was just like, we should work together. Like, it's more home and everything. And I, I just was like, I told the homie that I do skate line with my boy Joel Judiger. Shout out to the bro. Thank Shout you. You fed him. me. You looked out for me, and I was nothing. Yeah. So mm-hmm. appreciate you for life. He was like, bro, what's up? They really talking about Thrasher? Like, I mean, Thrasher's really talking about putting the show on. I'm like, yeah, like they want to fuck with it. He's like, nah, like. I don't know about all that. Then Vatilla was like, yeah, nigga, like, let's do it. And we just, that was simple. It was like one time. Mm-hmm. That was it. Because that's how them, you know, that's how Thrasher rolled. They don't play the whole, well, we'll see your number. No, yeah, nigga. They was, oh, like, they was like, you Bay Area, this us. Like, right. Let's, let's keep it home. And I was like, you know what, nigga? It already go with the mix. That's my park. Now I'm a part of the mag. Thrasher this, Thrasher that. Right. Yeah, and it just, you know what I'm saying, closed the hole. So Tony Hawk yeah. hurt. Mm-hmm. Tony Hawk get hurt. He unfollowed me on Instagram. He unfollowed oh, you. Oh shit. my god, that is so shit, personal. I'll, I'll never, never forget, forget this shit. <laughs> like, hey, the day the day I like I found out, like I was like, you know, like I was on Thrasher for like a month or two, and like I went back to his Instagram just to see if he still followed me. Just I did it on some fluke weird old nigga shit, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I seen that he had unfollowed me, and I was like. I was about to go on Twitter like, Tony Hawk, you can see me, nigga. Like, <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, you, we supposed to be niggas whether I, you feel me? <laughs> yeah. even, though, even though you helped me or whatever, you feel me? We supposed to be niggas. But I, like, deleted it. And I was just like, you know what? Like, without Tony Hawk and, and Joel, I'll be nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I will be nothing. Like, 110%. Like, I'll Tony Hawk my entire life. Mm-hmm. Tony Hawk, that's fire. Like, probably I shouldn't fight him. No, I wouldn't. I, I would never. <laughs> but the nigga in me was so upset that he yeah. unfollowed me on Instagram. You was hot. Hot, like, hot, my nigga. I thought we was bros. I thought like, we was. That was my day one. Like, nigga. Dude, like, we was. <laughs> what's <laughs> up? Like, what did I do to you? You had that Man. contract. But that's but, funny to put yourself in his yeah. mentality that he was looking at Instagram and he actually thought, like, Man, I can't keep looking I can't at this keep following kid. This like, nigga. he fucking. He I'm like, went fuck switch this teams, nigga. man. He switched the gang on me. What? No. That's crazy to How think of Tony Hawk to even having a, a single thought along he did. those lines. He did. But he apparently he, he followed did. Because he used to comment. And when he would comment on my shit, I would be like, thirsty, like, yo. He's coming back. Fuck? Coming yeah. back real quick. Instantly. Nigga, instantly. Like, when I get instantly. That's the only nigga. comment back. What's up? What's up? What's, what's going on, Tony Hawk? Like, so we what's up, man? What what's up? Comments. What up, T? Showing the homies. Like, yeah, you know, you know, you know, you know what's up. Tony Hawk and Tony was like, this is weird. Like, why are you talking to me like this? Yeah. He said that? Yeah, he's like, this is weird. Like, he said that. But. You know, like, when I met him at Woodward, like, when it was six months into the show, like, I, I got, like, real emotional on the nigga. I was just like, thanks, bro. Like, I yeah. can't believe this. Right. You, you, nigga. Like, you the culture. You're the reason. Yeah, for real. You're the reason why a lot of niggas do this. Right. You know what I'm saying? Even though I found out as an older man, uh, <laughs> he made some turd decisions for himself, but I don't give a fuck. 900. Turn to 900. 900. How old is it? 900. 900. Hey, that's my new age. 900. Hey, I heard some stories about he, he parties a little bit. You talking about that? Who? Tony Hawk? I heard some stories about him. Yeah. Getting, we ain't going to talk about some that. grown man right. shit. We ain't going to talk about none of that. That's that nigga business. He's no, just that's business. up with his business. Yeah, it's just good to know that he's he ain't that different than us, you know? Really? Yeah. I know that's good. Well, and he's petty. You don't follow the homo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Petty gang. I feel you. Petty gang. Shout out, Petty gang. Um, 
Black motherfucking black gold. You feel me? Oh, that's the grid. That's the that's black the. gold. Wait, wait, black lives matter, but black gold. Yeah, it's about to be the brand. It's about to be everything. It's tell us about the team. About tell us about grizzly. what black Party gold talks. is. It is it. the hood be, grizzly be, right be, now. Uh, Shake John 2.0. You feel like, me? Um, you feel me? I'm about to do it. Let him get his shit off. Let him get it off. What's oh, up? my bad. No, yeah. I'm no, sorry. I was just talking. No, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, no, go no, ahead. Tell us about you. Yeah, no, I'm telling. No, no, that's what I'm saying. Go ahead. Tell us about your killer ass team and who's been repping the black gold. Man, well. Nico Haraga, Banger. The Duffer, Banger, Mike Paluzzi, Banger, Bang, 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 know, Steven <laughs> Lawyer, Jesse Bordeaux, Ratface, mm. Shit, Miguel Rodriguez, mm. Malik Jones, uh. all my niggas on Thrasher Boys, you feel me, already rap, Kobe Morris, I'm forgetting all my niggas, mm-hmm. that's what I do, um, <laughs> I stay forgetting names, but the whole team, uh, shit, there's some people that's not on yet, that's about to be on, so that's, I think that's why I'm Disclosing those names because I gotta wait till yeah, right. some shit happen. But names. the main niggas right now, my nigga Stephen Lawyer really putting Stephen Lawyer. Mafia. Please, uh, please tell me about your friend Stephen Lawyer. He go crazy. He skate mafia. That nigga go stupid. Stupid. So many front feeble ten rails in the Thames. Like no yeah, in the Thames. Like, come on, in the Thames, bro. Yes. In the Thames. No, hey, no disrespect, my nigga Esco, man. Yeah, yeah right. Hey, we, Esco, hey, we're, no, Esco, Esco, no jumper coming soon. You feel yeah, me? what's yeah, up? He bailed soon. on the sale the day. What's he up? God. He, no, he got too high. The Esco, the God, got too high. We coming, we coming with that He's one. Coming man. with that. That's but yeah, so uh, by, the time, high, that's by the time this one comes out, we should have that one already done. Yeah, let's get this yeah. man okay. next week. Anyways, Stephen Lawyer, tell us about your friend Stephen Lawyer and how like his career just like. Went crazy Yeah this like, nigga Started getting on Instagram Like oh, yeah, I'm losing My fucking Instagram. mind Every week Yeah Cause it was like That little genre Like when Guy And all them niggas Would tune in a week Like with a With a stupid trick And then that ended And then all of a sudden Steven was just like I'ma go up And I'ma do it too But I'ma just do Really mangle minds Like Trey Fullback Smith And shit like, Yeah I was just like The it, God it, is next level And it's crazy Because a lot of people Would tell me like You brought it to their attention I, Like it was like you brought a lot because I, I was noticing that shit a lot. And then, like, I just see this nigga just like, I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, that I brought it to yeah, their attention? Yeah, because I, I don't know. They was going to see it one lot. way or another. Yeah, he was going to see it one I, way or another. I was, reposted, I was reposted, and all of a sudden, I'm like, the Thrasher started reposting them. Yeah. And, that's and it, was like, it was like constant repost. Yeah, that's that nigga was, was going up. Like, I'm talking over. about everything in the Tims and the sweats. And, like, it's just like, when I finally seen the dude, he pulled up in some Gucci shoes. Man, it goes super. He did some good. He came in some Gucci shoes and he did like uh, a kickflip back lip on a hubba. And then like switched all his Gucci shoes, you know, put on his shoes and just did his thing. And I'm like, this nigga's like. Nigga's something else. Something else. Something With else. the black gold grip. With, yep, going super. Fully. Fully. Every time. With the Every shits. time he's on his board. He's, yeah, it's and a it's movie. like, and I was just like, that's my nigga. So I'm like, so this nigga's. He's okay. Tired. So San Diego repping. He, he Shout chilling. out to SD. Shout out to SD. He, he be chilling. He doing that. Shout out to SD. Shout out to You live down here now or you live up there? I'm still in the, still Bay, in the Bay Area. Bay area I'm, probably, I'm probably never going to come down here. Yeah, yeah. never. No, no he I, might, like that. I might. I don't know. He loves LA. But I, might, I, might, I might. I might. I might. I might. A lot of opportunities for you down here, right? He got to stay in the Bay. Thrasher's in the Bay. No, I Thrasher's in the Bay. So that's, that's the crew for real, though. You get a If some shit happened, I might come down here, bro. You going to get a Thrasher on your face? I don't, I, don't ever th- I don't think I'm going to ever get a tattoo Because yeah. on God On God I'm going to have to shoot somebody If I get a tattoo Because yeah. somebody's going to say to me Every time I see them Oh bro I can't believe you should have got it in white Or I can't really see it on you Or something <laughs> And I'm going to be hot And I'm going to be like Fuck you Like suck hey. my dick like, yeah. You end up roasting people a lot Because they give you roasts Because you're dark Yeah that's what I did Yeah, That's how, that's how I really like started Like, so you That's how you learned to joust verbally Niggas used to talk shit about me Yeah like Niggas used to talk shit about me and then, you know, I wanted to be conversational, but I weighed 90 pounds. <laughs> so I would just get thrown, like, around everywhere I tried True. to start a fight with. Like, right. So, but. But then you just turned up on your front shit. Start, I just started roasting niggas. Just roast a nigga down quick. Yeah. Feel it. That's, That's a skill you got. You got to it, it started as freestyle, and I didn't used to roast people. I didn't used to be funny. I just used to freestyle rap. And right. that's how, like. Exactly. That's how my brain started. That's, that was my if, next If you were going to roast House Phone or, or Hesh right now, like, what were the first things that come to mind that you would zero in on? Oh, shit. He looks straight at this nigga. I love how you I, look I straight at house. Phone. I can help. I love how you look straight at house. We can just have a shit. Dude. Listen, I'm like, hey, wow, even start, so I ain't even trying to start. It's the way. It's the way it goes, though. You feel yeah, me? Like, the way it goes. you can't really just get on the nigga. Like, yeah, it's like true. something from his soul when he say something. Once you say it, once like, you say it, it's a wrap. He's yeah. like, it's fuck a rap. you, nigga. There's no going back. And I just say, like, I just say 
like dumb shit. Right. Like, the dumb I, shit. I hits. just pick an animal. And, like, <laughs> something animal. Was, something was wrong with that animal or a feature on that animal. Like I'll be like, you look like an emu eye or some right. shit. Like something <laughs> stupid as fuck. That's like you, right. you have to emu think about. Eye. It. Yeah, just like, tell them like it looked like something. You just yeah, you look like something. Do. Like <laughs> something that is hard to put something. your finger just on, but you kind of look like it. Yeah. Just a head ass nigga, man. Yeah. Head ass. Shit. All um, right. Um, <laughs> but that Harambe pack got me on my ass, bro. Yeah, we exactly. are high out here. Besides, okay, Derek, okay, okay. the only one we ain't smoked out. My, you see, I got the. You say I got the weed. Now I got the question is, um, <laughs> niggas say I won't get that new foreign whip. Ski skirt. Wow. Please say tell I'm us. Gonna... Please tell us about the mixtape and tell oh, us. Oh yeah. man, Wait, that was a uh, don't smoke weed, kids. It's amazing. Yeah, that was the first mixtape. I think it came out like April. Yeah, the first mixtape. Oh, but bro, the go. second mixtape coming feature very very soon. Yes, um, feature. the first mixtape though, you had features on there featuring a lot of skaters that yeah. made the game go crazy. Yes. kids are like. Nigga, once you emailed it to me and I like we made once you made those videos, you skating to it, niggas was just like, what is this? And it really has Nikel on there, and it yeah. really has Black Day. You feel me? You really got real features on there, yeah, like yeah. Skater hard. different skaters. Oh, so. Yeah, yeah, that popped off. I got Mo right there. Mo on there. You My feel me? All the TV Thrasher boys in this yeah, bit, man. So, so it's like that's wow, for free. That was really wild. Wow. Niggas yeah. was not expecting you to drop a mixtape. Yeah, Nico got some songs. Nico you know got some, saying? yeah, features. Bummy, everybody like. So I had to do that. I just had to do that. Talk about your boys. You feel me, Nico? Your boy. Nigga Nico, he's just big chilling at SF doing his thing with golf. Yeah. You know him. My nigga, my nigga, Bummy. 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 <laughs> that's bummy. somebody that's completely out of their mind. Yeah. Like, bummy. Bummy. Yeah, bummy. Yeah, yeah, bummy. Bummy mind. interview coming soon. You feel me? Mr. That's my nigga. nigga Mr. Yeah, he's first out of his mind. Mr. Hey, fucking first time. When's he dropping that mixtape, bro? That that shit was. That shit dropped. He's uh, dropping another one. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't, is there gonna be no games boy still or huh? Remember no games boy was oh, that yeah, supposed no to be? Games I have boy. no idea. No games like, he, boy he doesn't tell us yeah, He doesn't tell us he nothing. Just does shit? Yeah, you know, Mr. When Mr. That first time comes out, Mr. First time motherfucking comes out. <laughs> Damn man, I can't that cannot. nigga is really rare, bro. That nigga is really. There's a funny crazy. character we should also get really rare. Yeah, yeah he's no jumper soon, coming soon. Get him. I want to see what the. So I got this question: Is like, what is your day to day like? You wake up in the morning. What's your average day like? I try to go to a meeting. I try to figure out a way. What's next? What can I do? Okay. Yeah. Or what are we going to do? Or we could just sit. Like, some days I'll just be like, hey, let's sit together. Because I don't feel like doing shit. But right. I don't know. I guess I just do what I want all day. <laughs> Pretty much. Right. That's it. I just do what I want. You feel thankful to be in that position? I feel when super you get thankful. To be in that? Super blessed. Because, I, nigga, I struggle sucks ass. Right. Yeah, and real. niggas really know my struggle. My struggle ain't artificial at all. So It's not. So. But do you go in the same day every week and just to do the show? It's always yeah, I go like, every Sunday, like every two days Sunday. before. It used to be Thursday, and then niggas start putting content out on Friday. I think niggas was watching, like, yo, like, we look, he don't want to be on the show. Like, he can miss us, and it could get Talking old, and the gay. kids will start hating, nigga. But nah, nigga, when that next week come around, we still going to get that old-ass video. And still <laughs> gonna, <laughs> kids going to still think it's funny, and we still going to get that, nigga. So. Is it like every time you're looking through Instagram or whatever, are you always just thinking, like, all right. I don't do that. I'm about to I'm about to roast this do fool. No, I literally. Nah, it, I don't. I watch my videos, of course, like during the week. Right. But I'm never <laughs> like, oh, this is gonna be funny for Skate Line. Okay. Like, mm. When it's Sunday and I go in there, we just be like, roast. Like we do the shop talk, and then we're like, that's on camera. Right. And that's what happens. No script. We don't write it out. We tried for two on? weeks. Is that your phone? My bad. Oh, that's probably my shit. We tried for two weeks to uh to write the show. Two episodes really? ever. They're our lowest viewed. Really? Yeah, because you could, I think you can feel it and see it that right. we like practice that. Two <laughs> out of the wow. 300 episodes that have came out or 200 episodes that came out, right. two of them have been written. That's crazy. And we can't do it like that. So it's just that Sunday we have to do it. Right. Get out. If you were to look at the first or the second episode and then the current episodes, is there any like real difference in your mind, or is it stay fat. pretty much? <laughs> you were tiny as shit with no I hair at fat. first, I got right? Dreads. Yeah. I got fat. Other than that, the formula is still the same. I still try to get the same delivery. Still slam, motherfuckers. Still slam. I still to say nigga a hundred times each episode. <laughs> <laughs> still <laughs> ignorant <laughs> as fuck. But nobody that you've worked with has ever put any pressure on you to clean up the content a little bit. Nah. Nah. Nah, <laughs> nah. We we were just saying foul shit though. Yeah, so, foul shit that 
even we agree it's just like that's just foul. Right. Like you know, it's funny and then it's foul. Like right. Yeah. So some shit we'd be like, all right. Like some niggas be like, come on, that was foul. We just so be they like, just be like ah, ah. nobody's ever like, yo, you should not yo, say real, this. You should not phone? do that. He just passed to me, bro. My oh, bad. <laughs> Yo, that was fun. You're a retard, was, bro. I thought it was man. Like it's so I loud. I was got a cell phone. I'm gonna put that shit on. Do not it's disturb, so, fam. Hey, so, hey, get off my nuts, man. so speaking of speaking of people getting mad, I got like probably like mm, probably like 30 DMs asking me to ask you this, <laughs> Nigel. Houston. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know it's actually like <laughs> fucking funny as fuck. <laughs> Me and him get along. Long, yeah, I know. So well. Yeah. Yeah. He different now because you know he got the. Yeah, you know, yeah, sand. yeah. You feel me? When they got the Lamborghini. Yeah, you feel me? When they got the Laguna house, me? eighteen white girls, blonde in his house. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we all go crazy. He feed his whole family. You feel me? <laughs> so he a little. He he's. He a little but teed up. Other right than now. that. I like that's so a nice real ass man. nigga. Man, what, what, what's, what's, LB. What's, what's the beef? How did this go down? Um, beef, I just no be roasting that nigga every slain, move he make. Every, every, every nigga. move he makes. Fuck that nigga. Every right. little move <laughs> like, that nigga you. can. Bro, that nigga can go like every this. Every little picture he posts with a everything. pink shirt, anything. Yeah. But you think he I'm understands now? On I'm on you. But you on think he like understands I'm, that he I'm needs looking, that? I'm looking trying to tell him. Yeah, he does. He does need that, bro. He, ain't right. he needs it. But do you think he knows that like he's big no, enough that, that he needs just to be? Niggas just watching. They just laugh, and I think he ignores it and spends another million on a bike or <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Or some spends jet another million on a sandwich or some shit. I don't know what the fuck he does, man. But he be doing him. Yeah, worth to him. About me, man. He got that. Big fat, big ass, fat ass, fat check, nigga. Right so he check. good, yeah. whole family good. N- N- but Nike. don't fuck up, cause I'm I'm to the house. On his house. <laughs> <laughs> if I hear anything about bankruptcy, Nigel, if you watch this interview, I'm to the house. I don't give a fuck. I know where it's at too. <laughs> Better keep that money. Hey, this is really cool, cause now we know that Nigel's just got to watch this. Yeah, there's somebody should talk yeah. about you in the interview. Gotta watch yeah. it, right? Yeah, you should watch it. Yeah. Tune in. Watch it. <laughs> I will be at your How house. How you feel when you see people booing, do there. booing him during the contest and shit? That's crazy to me. Like that's some ass shit. That's some hate ass. Bitch, yeah, some shit. bitch shit. You some shouldn't boo nobody. Shit. Right. You gotta be fucking kidding me. You gonna boo a nigga that's better than anything, anything. you've ever seen in your You're life? You're looking around at your friends like they because might be the ones booing winning? him. Because <laughs> he keep you mean, hold on, hold, So you mean to tell me anybody that's ever fucking booed Nigel Houston? I'm hot because I think about it. Like any nigga that's ever booed Nigel Houston, if he doesn't win, that's one less check for his family. Nigga, he's skating for his family. I want you to think about what anybody in Nigel's family does except for... You feel me? He doing that for his fucking family. That nigga gonna win them competitions. Right. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, when it's going down, when I'm going down. winning. Nigga, I want that 250000 when the day ends. Each time. So Each you, time. You over there booing. I need there, another one. You booing a nigga supporting his family. So Man. You, yeah. You're trash. I don't give yeah. a fuck. That's fuck. Back you, to back You feel like you're, you're like the Nigel of like YouTube skate media? No. no. <laughs> Speak about the Because <laughs> you got team. quite the streak I'm on going, Burgundy, doing man. all these numbers for all, every I'm week. I'm on Burgundy, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on Burgundy. I, I ain't got a lot of booers. I don't got a lot of haters because, I mean, you have to pay attention to somebody hating you. Right. Man, yeah, so yeah, I don't got no sure. haters. Do you read the comments? Yeah, I read them for this thing called Gary Responds. Oh, right, yeah. And, and, uh, and we try to be the people, you know, we try to read the ones that are, like, really bad about me. Right. Just so it's just like, we don't care, man. Like, you yeah. typing monkey man. Oh yeah, is, is there straight up thing. racism a lot Sometimes, of times? Sometimes, okay. and those ones, I be like, <laughs> those ones are. I I want to read those so bad, but you can't influence the ignorance on that one, right? Yeah. You can't, because yeah. then like you know, some kids will be so thirsty to get on there that they'll start thinking that's funny. Yeah, you know, you saying whatever they. Those are the only dudes that really block to. is like the real racist shit or the ones where I love just it, dude. I, I, say, I said I said when you get shit, called yeah. a nigger monkey thing, oh, you made it. You yeah, made it. That's true. Oh Christy God, be- you made it. When somebody calls you a nigger or a monkey or you're thing, on. you made it. You're, you're on. on on YouTube. You're dumb on. Because that means somebody that has no business watching you is watching, watching you. you. <laughs> what <laughs> the <laughs> fuck are you doing? Watching so, this? Why? why? You're watching a black no, dude's a real life show. Why? Racist. What yeah, are you doing? Huh? <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. funny, man. But I still ain't shit though. They know. Yeah, what keeps you from getting a big head? Do your friends keep you in check good? They're they're alive still. If any of them like were dead or if any, then I'd be good. I I'll start flexing, (laughs) acting like I wasn't who I am. But they know everything about me, so I gotta watch my p's and q's. Yeah, man. These niggas will air me out. (laughs) 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 I ain't shit in the half. Shit on you real quick and keep you in your place, yeah. Little bitch. (laughs) (laughs) You start getting you start getting them Lamborghini checks, bro. You you gotta start flexing on niggas, man. Nah, I never would. I don't think I would ever buy a Lamborghini because you gotta go to speed limit. True. Right. So yeah. I'm not going to waste a million dollars to drive 75. Have you ever flexed? What's a, you ever do anything with the cake that you get from the show? That you nah, just I just done a little I bit. Just, no, I like to eat 
and I like everybody around around me that you know to right. eat also, and like eat good. Right. Cause, yeah. Cause What's eat, eating good? What's your favorite place to eat? Just food anywhere, nigga. Like burritos, tacos, <laughs> shit like that. That's my shit. Right. Um, it's just like fucked up that I can walk in a Chris and go eat there too. Really? Yeah. Like and think about like. <laughs> Eating fucking sharing double cheeseburgers from fucking Burger King. $150 steak all of a sudden. Yeah, I can, now yeah. I can do that. And I can get, you know, all my friends can eat. Everybody can eat. We all. You know Fat Trail was in the roof, Chris, with, with no shirt yeah, on? That's a fat ass Really? Nigga. He yeah. said that. Yeah. He was in the, they, hey, you know what's scary? Him and Chop, I think, are getting bigger. Like, I, thought, yeah. I, I just saw yeah, Chop. Yeah, we just seen Chop at day and night. Like, he's on these small shit like that. Nah. Like, nah. Chop, like, fuck that. Yeah. They keeping it real, bro. Yeah, I fuck with that shit. They're hey. fucking up, though, because I think being skinny is a big part of being successful. You look at 21 Savage, I think a big part of why he's successful is because he got skinny ass legs. No, I think <laughs> I think the part of why he's successful is like because like girls are like, wow, that's one of them fucked up ass niggas, and they love that. For right. sure. <laughs> yeah. Where's the 21, man? 21, 21, 21, 21. Sword, 21. Shout out knife in his face. It's a knife. It's a knife. <laughs> no, no, no. You say the sword. You got to say the sword. Sword. It pisses him off. He, he goes, says in that song, I got that sword in my face. But he says in his song, I got the sword in my face. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Knife in my brother. Yeah, All right, so you're on, you're on with 21. What else you been listening to? Oh, 21, Sosa, Yachty, Uzi, Dex, True. me. All that. Myself. Me. So All you that. ain't turned into an old-ass grumpy dude yet. You still listen to no, all no, no, the no, hot I, boys. I, I, no, I listen to all genre music. I'm okay. just, I thought you were talking about like the new wave of no, people. No, yeah, that's that good. I'm just wondering like, what you listen to on the like day-to-day. Tips, yeah. Mike, uh, Mary J. Blige. Oh, really? TNC. Okay, so you got a full palette. All right. me? Usher. So it died when he got off stage? Hmm? It died when he got off stage. When you got off stage, what at that made in two? That made in? Is that what you are talking about? He pretended like he's skating shit. I oh yeah, you guys got beef with uh, Made in Tokyo. Nah, 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 nah. It was funny. It was funny shit. Nah, nah, nah. Made in Tokyo. No, no, no. It's no beef. That actually, that's one cool ass nigga. Yeah, it's cool as fuck. He, he on his. Well, he ain't bad. We got to see if he can skate, though. If you want to come skate, you got to come see his skate. Yeah, no, obviously. Is he good? I've never seen him. On the Royce Rizzi interview, he told me he's pretty good. I feel like he found, I feel like he's finding out that you should have people that can skate rep your shit. Rep your shit, yeah. Instead of skating. Because he just, yeah. Yeah, true. You know what I'm saying? That's true. And and that's uh, that's what's tight about that. But uh, to me, when we, when me and Maiden were on stage together, some that random, had that yeah, crowd yeah. like wow it's this lit. is going like, up this is going up because yeah. it's like this is the nigga that's been going up at the festival and then when that one nigga was like oh we don't know you i'm like i'm looking at the nigga that's the reason yeah. why you have a job in his <laughs> yeah. eyes and me and him returning up together so why would you even bring that bad right. energy? Exactly. yeah and I'm not so you got kicked off stage at day and, and night I, yeah you feel me really? I'm not kicked off like he didn't he wasn't rude or nothing it was just like it was the fact so that just you stopped the turn up was yeah. like trash like do we know who it was that kicked him off stage no some random and then i walked up to him and I was like, yo, you work for Private Life? Because you know it's called Private Club. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you said it wrong? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he had the cute, he had an OL hat, and I thought I said Quiet Life. And that was in my head when I was oh, like, oh, he's going oh. quiet. But he didn't even have on a Quiet Life hat. I'm just a dumbass. <laughs> I said Private Life. So it was funny. And then Maiden was just like, oh, no, I didn't even die. And I've seen a few pictures. The crowd was still there. But I don't think it was as hype as me and we everybody on the stairs had the wild. show. Yeah. Oh God! Yeah, we had they. Had, so yeah, the whole I game see you so though hard. at that shit. You got people coming up to you every fucking two seconds. How do you deal with like the attention and shit? Because you seem like you're kind of a low key dude. But you got people coming up to you every five seconds. No, I ain't even low key. I be loud. I'm low key about <laughs> real shit. Like I just. But well, you seem like you're a real dude. You're not necessarily like you. You're not just a straight not to entertainer. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're, you're like, like a real yeah. street kid. You know. No, like yeah. Just, so like, is that weird having niggas like run up to you all nah, day? Because it's like you know what I'm saying. Like even this people. Really some people just walk up on me and just be like, I have no idea who you are, but you have a hell of fun. I'll be like, cool. Like those are. <laughs> yeah. Think about your whole life where you're just like not really appreciated for being right. or something, and then now you are. You should you, you should always embrace that and appreciate it. Grateful it's like people, for it, yeah. people give a fuck about me, and people giving a fuck about me feeds me, lets me get this, that, and the other thing, and that's tight. So I'm always gonna embrace those people because yeah. even the new people are like, wow, that nigga just looked at me and had a full on conversation. Man. One kid the other day was like super scared because he was trying to take a photo of me in San Jose. Or were we in San Jose? I don't know where are we are. We've been around a lot. He was trying to take a picture with me, and his phone went full. And I like, Always, and I took huh? his phone and I deleted his photos for him. And I went to his recently deleted, and I waited. And he was like, "What the fuck? You did all that?" Right. I was like, "Yeah, man, you wanted a picture." Yeah. And then it was still set full, and he was like, "Oh, it's not gonna work." I was like, "Go to Snapchat. It's got its own database." Yeah. Just hooked them True. up. I waited for him to do that. I mean, I can't do that for everybody, but it's like, yeah, of course. That moment for that kid lets him know that, like, nigga, 
I knew what it was like to want to ask a nigga for a photo, even though I never really did it. Like, yeah. Because I never got the opportunity, but. Well, you really weren't around pros like that and shit? Nah, not where we were from. Like, a pro, you see a pro, you just, you on them. Like, we used to see Dennis Business all the time. Like, me and him, right there. We would see Dennis Business and we would, like, <laughs> fucking freak out. And then today, like, I just got P-Rod's number. Like, it's just like. How'd you get P-Rod's number? I was with P-Rod. P-Rod wanted to skate with the Thousand yeah, Boys. Like, he, he, that was pretty he wild. Called they called me to see if I was going to be there. Like, double, what? Double kick. That's double crazy. Kick yeah, man, it was just wild. Things going on. Boys is going Who do you get starstruck around at this point? Oh, still, man, I cry every time I see Rodney Mullen. I okay. can't help it. I don't man. know if it's like some gay thing. I don't know what's going <laughs> He's on. He's just so like, you created a kickflip. You made the kickflip. Like, I can't not cry around the nigga. You made I a kickflip. So I'll be like, hey, and I break down, and I'm just like, you're everything. Right. And then I see Guy Mariano kind of fan out, too. Yeah, where it's a guy, man. I was just that, a guy, and I found out. I, yeah, can't, I can't help it. He was just over there. Okay, I'm not going to <laughs> <laughs> not going to hear him out. But so when you were a little kid, though, did you, like, always think that you were smart, that you were the kind of guy that – because you, you seem like you have such, like, a complete understanding of skateboarding and, like, how to make a dope show that it just, like, strikes me as, like – you just happen to be like there's a million kids in the hood talking shit but you just happen to like stand out as the one who could actually like put together something consistently i got i i couldn't even tell you man i just feel i feel like yes i understand it like i have a grasp of it right i get what i'm supposed to say how i'm supposed to say it that you're special i get yeah something's tight about me i guess <laughs> i mean i think it's more so my niggas that are way tighter than me though like for okay. me like like but i guess i'm just the one that fell into this So I stand out Cause I'm dark <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I dark like, That's good to know You're still dealing with that Apparently and a dark yeah. nigga with the swag though Like can't nobody hate it You feel me <laughs> Can't nobody hate it Can't nobody take it from me Oh man Hesh, Hesh Ask a question Come on What do you got I think He got the pink glasses He got the deep in depth Skate questions one. Slow fetch man Hey shout out to the McAllen Bro, yeah, I'm McCallan, off that McAllen. McCallan, Dude, McCallan, this shit does not McCallan take long to kick in at all, right? No, I'm good on that. Shout out to Gary Zero, on. man. I still can't believe we just yeah, had Zero. Zero. We just had Zero here. Word to Gary on the sober life, you feel me? Oh, yeah, man. Sober hey, shit, man. Sober like shit, three, man. three years now. <laughs> 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 My name's Gary. I'm three years sober. That's, <laughs> that's what I hear from the niggas all the time. Because anytime I talk to somebody, they hear me, I've been sober three years. I, I just say it. Like, it, like yeah. they don't need to know that. I could just say no, but for some reason, True. I'm just like, oh, you got to let them know. You feel me? Yeah. You got to yeah. let them know. I just been sober. I, That's kind of cool, though. If I, if I, I mean, sober, I okay, so this is the few factors. Of, I guess this is what the next question is going to be, which I need to stop doing. I always try to think that somebody's going to do something for me or go. try to go ahead of them. But I stopped smoking and I stopped drinking. Drinking hurt my stomach. Mm. True. Even though it wasn't really the beer that hurt my stomach, I found out I was car sick after I would do skate line because I only drink at skate line. Okay. Not get drunk. Well, but just I would to only get have a, a beer. Mood, yeah, just yeah. have a beer. No, no, no. Not even like feel the beer. Just that was the only time I would drink. I mean, besides like vodka and night party, you know, the shits. But okay. like I, I, I stopped it because I like started getting stomach and then I found out I was nauseated in the car or whatever. And then I stopped smoking weed because my paranoia shit. When life changes for you and everything's okay, then you're just like, what do I do now? Like, right. Yeah. What is there to think about? And you start thinking about shit that's not tight. So now I would just have like badass panic attacks, anxiety attacks. So I was like, okay, weed. And then I started getting money too. Like, and I was like, bro, I was buying lots of weed and smoking a lot of weed. And I knew Big that, I knew the direction that that was all going in was not Over going that. to be tight. You start fucking with other drugs too? No, never. No, you never I'm, I'm scared because uh, one of the homies passed away from some drugs. So okay, I, I'm super scared of drugs. Like I'm super scared. Like fuck no. Yeah. So it, it just trips me out. Overdose. Mm -mm. <laughs> like I can't really factor it in accidental something. Never experimented with anything else. I'm just too too like that shit scares me, bro. Right. Shit, not, it's too wild. Well, you gotta be turned. you gotta be like committed and serious to be able to go in and do like a like show somebody, every somebody, single week. You know. Feel me. You, you do, and you gotta have your head on your shoulders, and you gotta yeah. be. And like, then another thing I realized too with the smoking and drinking is if I'm in the cut and people are filming me, like, it, you know, then I would realize that, like, damn, I can't really enjoy this. Like, niggas wanna laugh and be like, oh, Gary's drunk at the show, or I don't want that type of thing. That's not who I am. Like, right, yeah. Like, I, if I'm gonna drink and be drunk, like, let me enjoy myself. This isn't for your fucking amusement. This mm -hmm. is for me chilling out. So that's another thing I knew that wasn't gonna be tight. Because niggas felt like it would be funny that I'll be on. 
Because for the first couple shits, I was. <laughs> <laughs> the first couple of bits I'll pull up to, I slow off the gong. Man, I was gone. Oh, yeah. Man. That's all of gone. us. All of us over here. Yeah. Because we, we never, anybody, like, it, us, when we smoke, it, it's, it's violent. It's not like. Word to my thrasher, boys. You we smoke be, violent. How? It's, it's violent, bro. Like, like, sweetie. like we sweetie don't just, you know, some sweetie. people just roll up one. I Thank realize a so lot much. of skaters, they might roll up one something. No, I just it's just like. It's just like. After, after, after this, after that, Thank after so this, much. after that, after this. Or you just smoke too much? Just smoking, getting <laughs> home, nigga. Like, damn, like, chill out. Yeah, that's where all the money was going at first. It's bull, Malik. <laughs> it's bull. It's bull. Shit. It's cool. It's good. It's all right. It's all right. Is he Ain't peris- sure. periscoping us up there? It's good. No. True. <laughs> he can't see. So he has to look through that. He oh, lost his glasses in the ocean. Oh, shit. That nigga weird. That's yeah. fire. <laughs> I was wondering, like, hey, yeah. why my nigga don't got his glasses on? Like, Blind yeah. guys using their phone, Blind bro. Glasses. That's cool. That's, like, that's really... Yeah, yeah. About that. that's fucking amazing. Hey, so I got to ask you this question. It's like, who, who else do you see in the skate media that you look at and you're like, those are dudes who are doing it right. Like, they're actually making dope shit that I appreciate. Because there's magazines, there's websites, the whole shit is very splintered now. They're doing doing their thing. Um, Shit, who left that kept it real, man? That's the only problem now. I mean, it's like Deluxe, obviously. Uh, I look up to Primitive for building the team they did. Mm -hmm. That's like, they know what the fuck they're doing. Let's keep the raw sneakers together. Um, That's something my boy Joel was telling me to watch out for when they picked up their team. Don't smack your lips, because look at Trent, Shane. Come on now. You know what I'm talking about. Anyways. Rob Neal. So I look up to those niggas. Robert Neal. Like, Man, they're, they're building. Niggas. Wow, niggas is fake. <laughs> niggas is fake. <laughs> niggas on the stairs being fake. But I do look up to... Uh, I do look up to... They're doing it good. Um, obviously, Baker Boys, Illegal Civ. They, you know, they they are... Those are people that are doing it right. Um, other than that. Create. You know, America, create. Don't let me forget, man, because I be forgetting shit. Yeah. Like I remember Like just the other day This kid I had just made a joke About him Two weeks Volcom Volcom, Volcom's videos Always go up Dwindle. Dwindle They do You feel me They still have fun At Enjoy All those like Beagles Instagram Beagles Beagles or Beagles. Instagram oh, The Uber oh skate break God, bro. That was probably when The best thing In skate skating. media That I know of Yeah so What's it called uh, just don't worry about it. No. You don't know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like the Baker boy, Baker boy's kick is like it's fire. So, oh man. So hey, I got a question. What What are the questions that you get asked the most? Like the most things that you got to just get out of the way because people are always running up on you asking you the same shit. Do you get ran up on for what you say? <laughs> <laughs> we already covered that one. <laughs> and I never answer that question. They do. Right. Like my niggas be like, Nah, we don't. Nah, we don't. We don't. We don't. Yeah. So uh, that's that's the question I get out of the way. Uh, it's just not a good idea. It's just you know. Yeah. It's just we stupid. But you roll with the goons, huh? You like to come yeah, deep. Yeah, yeah, I roll. You feel me? I know niggas it's got these skateboards. Those boys, on, so. my niggas. When I touch down to the bay, like they they really like always together. Like if I wake up and I go to, <laughs> they're always together. Yeah, like period. Not, we not never together, so it's just. But uh, that's that's literally the question I'm asking most. It's just, does anybody try to fuck with you? Yeah, does yeah. anybody ever try to get it? Uh, who's mad at What about Nyjah? You know? <laughs> no, Nyjah, fuck with me. Tough. That nigga's hella clean. Yeah. Um, people don't run up. Um, and we're not pushing a hard line, like, on the goon side. It's just... It's just that they all It's to where together. it's just like... No, it doesn't happen. And it's not because... You know, people think things are said that don't happen also. Right. You know? That's what I. That's what I get asked the most out of anything. Do you think if you were a different kind of guy, it would be like a white kid? Well, or just a pussy <laughs> in general. Oh, if I was like a pussy, a scary nigga. It would be tough to have that that, <laughs> that, oh, that the what? gig that you have if you if you if you couldn't oh, man, I'll carry fall. yourself right. Oh man, fall if I was a funny nigga, fall. I don't know. <laughs> tell you name, man. T- hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, nah, man. I'm hey, tell you man. Tell you name, man. Real quick, hey, man. Like, real talk, tell you name, man. Tell you name. What the fuck going on, man? I ain't even no pussy in there. Hey, man. Hey, bro. Me and that nigga. Hey, bro. It's put it on there. Me and Gary had to pack our trash ass nigga at day and night, man. What are you doing to my pop? Podcast. Any nigga, man, man they can get man, it, man. man. Tell you, nigga, man. No, no, no. Hey, I, honestly, honestly, <laughs> honestly, honestly. <laughs> what did you guys just oh, do? Nah, that, was that, was that was probably the most fucked up moment in the history of this yeah, podcast. Yeah, my bad, man. My bad. I'll, I don't know what kind of handshake we just you, did. you drag that thing back a little bit? Because I realize that you're covering my face this whole time. Oh. People are gonna. <laughs> I, I don't even really want to be seen. I just feel like. If, 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 oh, there you go. 
But yeah, so they ain't gonna see me at all. My nigga, nobody trying to see your human. That's Shrek what I'm saying. I'm hey, human every, Shrek. Everybody <laughs> loves Shrek, Adam. Boy. No. Hey, G Easy Grandpa. Yeah, someone no. said Shrek. The human Shrek. Human Shrek. Yeah, G Easy's dad. Yeah, they be he, he said human Shrek. This other fool, I was trying. Wouldn't I was trying to fuck his girl. Time. He said, Wouldn't Yeah, to the yeah. White nigga, so they, they pull up Grandpa all the time. and they got you bent, my nigga. That's foul. I didn't even know that human Shrek was a thing until I, because I never seen Shrek. And it was a girl. It was white. It was me. What do you mean? It was. You? I remember Nicky hopped on a horse when Donkey changed into a regular yeah. horse. Oh, they got you. No, nah, I'm not even gonna up. lie. It was the homegirl that said that. I'm gonna keep it real. Yeah, the homegirl. No, the, 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 the homegirl no, 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 up. And then it was some random white nigga caught on Jeezy grandpa because yeah, yeah, he was trying to fuck this nigga girl. Yeah. And cuz got mad. <laughs> he's spot him. on though, because I hate when girls are like, "Oh, you look like Jeezy." I'm like, "Man, he's young. He's so yeah. he's fly. Like, I'm not really like. <laughs> he bought him he's doper than me, I think. Grandpa. Right? Yeah. You think Jeezy is over to you, bro? Come on, my nigga. I mean, I might have more money than him, but he. He's like I don't think, you know? think I'm more bread than Jeezy actually. Mm, I don't know. I'm sorry, but there's a picture on the internet Swiss of me accounts. and Gary. It's a picture on the sure. internet of me and Gary with the trash can written on G E. <laughs> yeah, really? Jeezy yeah, on the trash wrote, can. He wrote Jeezy yeah. on the trash can. Hey, you hear, you hear yeah, fuck Donald Trump part two featuring Macklemore and Jeezy? That sounds hard, actually. No, this is like YG. That. that was his that remix of fuck Donald Trump. I'm trying to hear that. The right video now. just came out like a couple days ago. Real rope gang, screenshot Gary's face when he said that. No, I'm not pulling it up. We're not gonna copyright it. Drop in the comments and say if you fuck with that song or not because I'm wanting I'm gonna listen to it's it right just after. funny that YG had to do a remix of that song and he picked with, the with two the whitest, whitest motherfuckers could, on bro. earth he didn't even go get Lil White or something like he could have got <laughs> he could have got Lil Dicky yeah <laughs> Lil uh, Dicky that would be funny Lil Dicky that's I would have fucked with Lil Dicky over fuck? Macklemore <laughs> I'll fuck with Lil Dicky over Macklemore <laughs> off tops what Lil Dicky can spit like better than Mac. Well, I would Wait, rather listen to Lil Dicky. Lil Dicky got gas, bro. Lil Dicky, yeah. Lil Dicky can rap, bro. Yeah. Lil Dicky got can't. a Fetty Wap feature, nigga. Lil Dicky got Fetty Wap. half a Fetty Wap feature. Save so that sure, money. Right? Well, he got a chorus. He got a chorus. But that, Fetty that one Wap. that saved that money, it's like half a Rich Homie Quan verse. <laughs> so it's Fetty Wap. Why are you coming it? one eye? Fetty Wap, Wap one eye open, nigga. Damn. Like Fetty. Yo, no, but no, no, uh, OG Mako now. That right? happened to him too. Yeah. Now he got one eye. Nah, so that's my nigga no, Mako. No, no, no. You didn't, didn't see happen. that? That's it real. Said, that really. Nah, happened. I said it was going to, but that his eye got finer again or something. No, finer. <laughs> it got finer. <laughs> no, no, no. I heard that too. That it recovered. Then <laughs> yeah. I heard that he lost his shit. But like, I, don't, I don't know. Really? I don't know. I mean, we got to do foul. I'm gonna hit GL man. I guess we. I guess we guess him. I'm gonna hit up my nigga Ash Riser and see if that's true. Yo, hopefully that nigga alright, man. Shut up. Yeah. Oh, you, you don't want to ever see a nigga lose an eye. Yeah, That's bro. bad, yeah. They shot my homie in the in the eye with a paintball gun and his eye was fucked up for like six years till like the fourth ben, surgery. I always, I always thought, thought Betty had some hood shit happen to him. Like he got he got packed out or he got shot or something. Something mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah, something. And, that nigga and just, and he just had like they like took it out during surgery when he was little or some shit. And you trying to be on the double XL freshman cover? Who me? Yeah, I'm. I'm going to be. <laughs> yeah, I, think for, I think for 2017 and 2018. That'd be fun. It's just my rap voice is kind of trash. So I gotta work with myself. You think man. it's trash? What's, it's your not, next actually, What's your next project coming? It's out? not trash, trash, but like he's working. That's why he's been working on the next project. That's why I'm out here. Uh, okay. I think I'm. A, I don't know the name of it yet, but obviously I'm thinking don't smoke weed. Kids is amazing. Too. Yeah, me and uh, <laughs> me and him. Got me, him, and you, you. We might have to get in the studio tonight. We might have to get in the studio tonight. Little fetch might hop in the studio. I feel it. I feel it, man. Come shit, let's do that. Got this got this but um, uh, fucking yeah. So that's I want to be a part of freshman. That'd be hard. I feel like I could do it too. I'm, I'm glad that I've identified. Because in the freestyle, bizarre, the yeah. freestyle shit start going, man. The niggas gonna have to hear me, man. Hey, go get that tape if you only got it though, man. Oh yeah, go get that. It's on SoundCloud. G called TV Pro, man. Hate man. On SoundCloud, like <laughs> GCO <laughs> nigga TV. <TV4>. Oh, <laughs> like <laughs> he's got his <laughs> chorus over here. Oh <laughs> squad, like, I'm so man. brand new, like oh, like I'm figuring life out. Like, like, oh, oh, yeah. oh, hey, hey, show these niggas how you in LA. Hey, hey, whole squad, show these niggas how you in LA real quick. Like, 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 oh, we out here, like, oh, deep out here, like, oh. Can I get one more time from the squad, though, real quick? Like, oh, oh. It's scary. They all got the dance moves over here. Hey, all right, in the show, in the history of the show, what's the biggest L you ever took? In the history of my show? Yeah, the biggest fuck up, the biggest like thing you wish you could have changed. What's that? Oh, we called Cooper Will Mark Johnson one time. Oh my god! 
you just you thought it was the wrong guy. And wow. You, you said it wrong. Okay. <laughs> okay. So what was that like? All you right. seeing eight hundred thousand. It ended Instagram. up being funny. Like people just <laughs> yeah, thought that, it was funny. Yeah, like, people probably thought damn, that was funny. Damn, like you really caught that nigga Mark Johnson. Damn, Cooper don't ever get no love. Nigga, <laughs> no love. <laughs> and I no was love. Because like, oh, you know who Cooper Will is. Because he's always in like some Haslam <laughs> and Ronnie Mullen shit. He's always there. Yeah. So it's like he he low key known. I didn't just like you feel me. So it was just like niggas like oh he never get no love. Or, <laughs> that was one of the biggest L. That's the only L I ever say I took. Anything else is some other niggas trying. To say I took it, but I ain't never did that. <laughs> right. The little homie just uh actually this week we had a joke where I was like, you don't jump and hump on a nigga when they land a trick. Oh, I saw that, yeah. And then there's like a video of me like three years ago jumping on one of the <laughs> homies, one of the big homies. I jumped on his back. I didn't hump or not, I didn't move like the nigga that just had the clip. But one of the little homies, Kevin, had posted on his shit and it was it's super so funny. That shit was hella funny because he was like, so Got funny. your ass, nigga. Got your ass. And I was just like, okay, okay. <laughs> But I didn't hump that nigga like the other <laughs> nigga did. I just jumped on the homie like the other nigga like so, humped, humped him after. Yeah, he, like, he, was hey, like, he was on the front of the nigga bouncing. Oh, yeah. Hey, and the L before is like calling Styles P Jada Kiss because oh, you really hold on. I just gotta go back. You really you did caught that? this nigga. No, he yeah. really caught this nigga. The other guy. He called, oh yeah, he that's like what nigga. I did. Yeah, that's like what he saying did. That. Like, oh okay. Yeah, so. That's like you call you called fucking Jay Z Memphis Bleak or some. Oh, shit. like if you call like N O R E Nas on that. Oh shit. That was bad. Yeah, it's hard to come back from that. You're not coming back from that one. Like, oh shit, nah. Hey, girl, I came to party. Ho, ho. Oh shit. Yeah, I was ready for that. I love Memphis Bleak, though. That's why I want you to start wearing a do rag. I think that should be your image. Damn, you look like Memphis Bleak, you ugly ass nigga. I'm on this shit now, my nigga. Hold on. I'm on this so I'm on this so fucking. Anyways, pop lock and drop it looking ass nigga. With the clean anyway, shit. Like, <laughs> this nigga looks like somebody fucking eat their mama. Anyways, anyways. If, man, wait, that was a pretty funny one. You call me Huey? Right, yeah, my nigga. That was a good one. Roast him out. now. What are you going to say about him? Uh, I'll get him later. Bro, we going to get on <laughs> your <laughs> eyes for real. Yeah, that. Human Shrek. <laughs> what else? Easy grandpa. Hey, easy grandpa. One time he called me Exhibit and I got hurt. I remember that, though. He barred me up, bro. He barred me up. I don't really remember that. My nigga be having the nice freestyles, too, bro. Niggas ain't even know about the fire. Rogue Gang track. Hey, hey Rogue Gang. The fire was one, though, was when I told that Surreal that, that he looked like Lil Reese. Yeah. That was funny. That, that was, was funny, right? Bro, say he not Lil Reese, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. That's Lil Reese. I was kind of proud of that one, yeah. Bro, he Lil Reese. Wait, Surreal bro. Jackson looks like yeah. Lil Reese. Yes. Are we talking like. Yes, yeah. Lil Reese, Lil Reese. Surreal looks like Glory Boy, Lil Reese. Yeah, he got, yeah. He got him. Bro. He got him. Look at him, he bro. He got him. He hit him with a left and a right. But you know what's crazy? Lil Reese had his whole career debted because he beat up a bitch. Yeah. Not really. Not really. That's yeah, what I, that's, not yet, though. No, because I heard yeah, an interview. He's not as like, popping as Dirk. And, bro, I heard an interview with the dude who was managing though. him. And the dude who managed him was like, yo, they, they put him on the shelf at the label when that shit happened. And I was really? like, man, that's crazy. That whole shit. That could they just shelved him over that. She, she, he yeah. beat her bad, though. But that was a crazy a, video. Remember that shit? He was a hood-ass yeah. nigga. And that was back before he was really with that shit. But on the internet, they don't really care if you're a hood-ass dude. They just they don't care. They don't want you to beat a girl up. I know. I'm just saying, like, how old was that video? I don't know. Face. He, he was wild her. on her. He, no, 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 nigga. He put his arm. It wasn't okay. In the sink, like the fucking yeah. the cook, like where you cut your bread, and he lifted up and he stomped double stomped the side of her temple three times. Yeah, like he, I watched that for the culture not too long ago. Bro, I, <laughs> that's a reach. He really about about his rap, son. Huh? Sorry, I'm oh, sorry. Bro. That was, it wasn't okay at all. I'm just saying, no, like, no, yeah. that was not cool. He's living what he raps about. But that nigga's not playing. <laughs> I would have played with him. Like he that. tried to tell her, like. Man, get on, man. He did that to a bitch. Imagine what he, he tried to do show to her the gun. She was like, <laughs> she was like, nah. He was like, get on, man. man. And then she tried to play a gangster, and that's when it's you feel me. You can't play. Wait, gangster. Did she you fired know? on him first, though, right? No, yeah. I don't no. remember this video. He like fired that, on her completely. Like, really? She no, was she tough. Was nah. She was hey. tough until he raised his arms. Right. Yeah. Then she was no stop. Everybody's screaming because he was like, "Bro, get on!" Like, but hey, so now the list of people who have to watch this include Nija and Lil Reese. They're both gonna hear about. It. They're both gonna watch it. Yeah, who Lil else Reese. should we talk about? And Tony Hawk. And Tony Hawk. We got Hawk's stars also. watching this right now. Who else should we shit on or or at least comment <laughs> on? I ain't on. shit on Lil Reese. Man. I ain't shit on. No, I'm not commenting on Lil Reese. Hey, 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 hey Rogue Game. Hit What's good with the feature, bro? Yeah, let's, let's do And on. the interview, bro. And let's the work. interview yeah. first. Hey, let's bring the girl that you beat up to and let's interview her, too. Let's <laughs> nah. see how she felt about that. <laughs> wow, you real feminist like, over here, huh? <sighs> 
member this gang, nigga. Pink boys. Lil Reese can show up with the dicks out. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Lil Reese got the 30 with the cock on it pulling up. You feel me? 30 <laughs> clip with the dick. <laughs> 30 with the schlong. <laughs> 30 the 40, with the, the 40 with the schlong. Dicks off of her on Mango. Get that. Yo, I got the 40 with the schlong on it. <laughs> Hey, Yo, we just we were real <laughs> fucked up. Shout out to my Thrasher boys, man. Pass Shout out to Thrasher boys, man. All day, man. Tease what else up, we got to cover? What else? We, we got about an hour, but is there anything else real important that we need to cover? Hesh, you might know about. When can we get you unsober, my nigga? Fuck this sober. <laughs> She's world. trying to have the we're break have on camera, turn, the edge bro. break. Me, I'm already turned. I'm it's always gonna be right turned. I'm always gonna be turned, man. Turn. I feel like now. You feel me? Like I'm always gonna be turned. Turn. Turn. I feel like, bro. Like I'm, I'm fuck all this healthy shit, shit though, bro. Uh, we trying to get you fucked up else, for one weekend. Where's nah, your- just um understand that the Thrasher Boys hashtag See, and Thrasher Park is uh black gold. Feel me? Go like get the tape. We not on our hype shit trying I to be like you feel me. We fuck with Thrasher. We do. We really I fully do. Here. That's my family. All of it is. But Thrasher Boys is the park. That's the gang. That's really the blood. Shit, it's man. everything. So. That's how I go. That's how I just want to, to every, and fuck with my music, man. I can take over this world, man. I'm for real going to turn up to every show I got, man. It's going to be a fucking this movie, I guarantee. Get the new what what do I look up on SoundCloud to find your music? Uh, G-C-O-D-E-T-B-4-L, no space, no underscore, no periods, just that. Type it in, W's. Let's get it. Hey, you feel me? Yeah. And if you go on a little fetch, it's right there because he's the only nigga I follow on SoundCloud. You feel me? The only person? Yes. That's a yes. bold that's, statement. That's, that's yes. That's, I'm going to go look that up, research I, that. That's love yes. right there. I appreciate that. Dude, yes. Hess just pulled person. up with the dicks out right there with yeah, the cosign. Hey, and even your white girls are smoking weed. That's cool. Boom. Little I didn't fetch, see them actually. smoking weed until yeah. then. Every, all his whole crew smoke. Yeah, she brought the backwoods. She brought the woods. Beautiful. I'm on, nigga. On, nigga. On, nigga. You got anything left to say? Anything left that you want to cover? Um... Shout out everybody. Shout out everybody. Everybody. We're not going to do shout out because it goes it's on forever. Did you ever do an interview like this before? No, nah, I've never we done one We like broke your this. cherry, man. That's why I was thinking. I'm like, yeah, I've never seen it if you did. Yeah. I might have did I might have did something like this, but I probably forgot. Like, I'd be forgetting shit. I need to stop that. It's probably the Kush, bro. It was loud. The last <laughs> pack I have, some Blue Dream fucked me up. Woo! I swear to God, it was brain melting. I swear. <laughs> no, Blue Dream, Dream is yeah. the mid. Stop smoking that shit. No, but back when Gary was smoking it, it was the dumb loud. Shout out to my Reggie smokers out there. Man, that shit, that shit was, that was that when shit, it was the hey, dumb loud. The shit I had was on the way to the club. The shit I had was on the way to the club, nigga. That we shit was AZ fire. Gang, nigga. Fire. AZ, no, I'm smoking trash weed out here, yeah. I mean, dirt y'all. weed. Shout out to High Effect 2020. Keep me I'm smoking that new, lit. I'm smoking that New Mexico pack, man. Nigga. You smoking know? Newports is what you smoking. Yeah, that's true. Everybody's out here wearing any y'all. Any y'all young niggas got stogies, bro? Like, like we only smoking those. Like, How many cameras? How many cameras? Right here, right here. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody, do your little dance right now. Everybody. Hey, 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 Nigga, I'm the best Woo! rapper alive. Gang shit, man. Yeah, I'm the best rapper ever, nigga. I'm the best, the best rapper ever. Lil Fetch only wants the neck, man. <laughs> Follow Lil Fetch, nigga. <laughs> Hashtag. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Mix it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, 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 nigga. Y'all think I'm fucking with y'all, nigga. I'm not. I'm hot, nigga. I'm the best. Nigga, I got you a bitch. One, 30 quick. We got that bitch on the tick. One. Get my shoes. Get my shoes. Drunk, nigga. ZYL be the label, man. Vocal Entertainment, man. I see the game, man. Lee Man got the game, man. Shout out to the Cack Academy. Don't start doing shout outs. You know we'll go on for six hours. Shout out all our niggas. Shout out. That's too much. Shout out my mama, man. Shout out my daddy, man. Shout out my sister, man. Shout out my cousin, man. What's up, B? What's up, B? Get from Jersey. Get it, get it, get that nigga, 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 get that nigga,
Man, that was fucking sick. <laughs> that was amazing. We go crazy. Niggas go crazy. Oh, Come on. Oh, he's taking him home. 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 Yo, you can get you can get a no jumper interview and your man still won't give you no respect. That's fire, yeah. I like that. I ain't never been phased, man. <laughs> Phase never ends. Yo, did the cat run? The cat yeah, was scared. Cat. Yeah. <laughs>